ACC official resources, past exam library, and then assign the latest attempt question, March, June, 2022. So if you have solved the yesterday question, it already, it will already be assigned. March, June, 2022. Yes. March, June, 2022. So you have to move to question number three. Question number three. <laughs> this is the requirement. In September attempt, requirement will be slightly different. There will be 20 marks question and five marks will be for the professional skills. You can, you can expect that this last part will not be there in the question, but marks will be there, but marks will be for the professional skills. So A part is calculate the expected sale price of the coffee shop. Calculate the expected sale price of the coffee shop, four marks. B part, calculate the impact of the sale of the coffee shops on CCs Forecast statement of financial position. Forecast earning per share and weighted average cost of capital. So it's a restructuring question. It, it's, it's a very easy question. It's not that difficult. So we need to calculate the sale price of the coffee shop. We have already solved uh, these kind of questions in the past exam papers. Calculate the impact of the sale of the coffee shops on CCs. Forecast statement of financial position forecast EPS and weighted average cost of capital. Then the theoretical part, evaluate the arguments for and against the decision to sell the coffee shops, seven marks. Then discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the suggestion made by the non-executive directors. Okay, so that's a question. So let's read the, uh, let's read the text of the question. CC was established 20 years ago, offering high quality coffee at a reasonable price. As well as offering takeaways coffee, CC marketed its coffee shop as being comfortable places in which to spend time and meet friends. For most of its life, obviously in 20 years, CC coffee shops have outperformed its competitors and CC was able to obtain a listing six years ago. Why CC? Outperform its competitor because it's marketed its shops as a comfortable place. So do highlight this. Most of the funds obtained from the listing were used to buy a struggling. Most of the funds obtained from the listing were used to buy a struggling fast food chain and rebrand it as a fruit juice bar chain. The fruit juice bar chain and coffee shops are now separate divisions within CC. Fruit juice bars offer a mix of drinks and salads with flavor from around the world. The appearance of the bars reflecting its global influences. This chain has been successful in terms of attracting fashionable young customers, but has required considerable investment. So the attraction of fruit juice bar is it attracts fashionable young customers. Up until recently, much of this investment has come from the surpluses generated by CC coffee shops. However, the growth in the profit of the coffee shop has slowed in the last two years. Customer and media comment has suggested that CC coffee shops now need significant refurbishment expenditure. So up until now, 
much of this investment has come from the surplus is generated by the cc coffee shop but so what is happening you are generating profit from the cc shops and you are continuously investing that surplus in the fruit juice um fruit juice expansion customer and media comment has suggested that cc coffee shops now need significant re refurbishment expenditure so now you need to invest on the cc coffee shops as well competition in the coffee shop sector has led to some merger between rival chains cc has just received an inquiry from a competitor about whether it would be interested in selling its coffee shops cc board is likely to accept a reasonable offer for its coffee shop as it believes the juice bars offer more prospects for future growth in profits a large cash inflow from the sale of the coffee shop would fund further expansion of the juice bar and refurbishment and upgrading of the existing juice bar over the next few years okay however one of the cc non executive director has suggested an alternative arrangement under this arrangement the coffee shops would be run by a separate company cc would hold a majority of the shares in this company but offer a minority of shares on the stock market so this first uh exhibit is very important uh we will read it again when we will discuss the last two parts so sale of coffee shop second part second exhibit sale price of the coffee shop will be the sum of the present value of the predicted cash flows predicted after tax profit of the coffee shops are as follows in year 1 296 million 328 360 388 the after tax profit of cc including the profit on the coffee shops can be assumed to be 658 million this is the profit of the whole business uh if combined if coffee shops are not sold these amounts can be assumed to be equal to the after tax cash flow so these profits will be equal to the after tax cash flows capital investment in the coffee shops can be assumed to be the 60 million in year 1 in second to fourth year capex each year will increase by 0.5 dollar per 1 dollar increase in profit after tax so if there is an increase in if there is an increase in profit uh we will do capital investment of 0.5 dollar per 100 per 1 dollar increase in profits okay carve out is suggested by the director yes it is equivalent to the carve out after year 4 free cash flow for the coffee shop should be assumed to increase by 3.5% for the foreseeable future discount rate is 10% discount rate is 10% okay next is this is the balance sheet current statement of financial position is given current statement of financial position is given this is other information the proceed receipt from selling the coffee shop would be used first to pay off the 9% loan notes so what you will do you will pay off the 9% loan notes first the remaining amount would be invested in enhancement expenditure on the non grant asset remaining amount will be uh, added to the non grant asset the investment in the non grant asset in the juice bar would be expected to earn a 17% pre tax return so the juice bar will earn you 17% return the current net book value of the non grant asset of the coffee shop can be assumed to be 3350 the profit on the sale of the coffee shop would be taken directly to the retainer the figure for the current asset and current liability can be assumed to remain the same the overall pre tax cost of debt is currently 8% it can be assumed to fall to 7% when the 9% loan notes are redeemed so kd will decrease it's not the coupon kd will decrease CC currently has 500 million shares in issue. These are currently trading at eight dollar. This is expected to rise by five percent as a result of the sale of the coffee shop. Asset beta of the juice bar can be assumed to be 0.7. There is no information of the asset beta of the coffee shop. Tax is payable at the rate of 25 percent. Risk free rate is four percent, and return of the market portfolio is 11 percent. So that's the question. So. Uh, calculate the expected sale price of the coffee shop there's a first requirement so let's start with the first requirement expected sale price of the coffee shop
part A. Expected sale price of coffee shop. So first of all, write the dollar million sign. Then write the years. Cash loss. Average cash loss. 296. 328, 360, 388. Capex. You can write the word capex as well. In first year it is 60. In next year it is 60 plus the change of the two cash flows, you will calculate the change of two cash flows and it's 50 percent. 76. Look at this figure. Look at this. The capital investment in the coffee shop can be assumed to be 60 million year one. In second to fourth year, capex each year will increase by 0 0.5 dollar per year, per one dollar increase in profit after tax. So I have calculated the change of 328 and 296 in 2.5 that will add it to the 60 million. That's how you will calculate. So this is free cash flows. Two ninety six minus sixty. And now let's calculate the present value of first four years. That is equal to NPV, bracket start 10%. And select all the four cash flows. Present value of cash flows. Beyond four years, that is 282. And after, after year four, it will achieve a growth of 1.035 divided by 10%. Five percent into one point zero one point one zero raised to power minus four. So market the sale proceed of coffee shop is a sum of these two. Three, eight, eight, three. So that's the answer, guys. That's the answer. So in part B, we have to calculate the impact of the sale of the coffee shop on the CC forecast statement of financial position, forecast EPS and weighted average cost of capital. This is the current statement of financial position. Let's do the adjustment. I have copied this from this part. Let's do the adjustment. First of all, you have sold the uh, company's asset for 
3883. So you will receive the cash inflows. 3883. These are the cash inflows which you will receive. And what's you are going to do with these cash flows? You will pay off the 9% loan notes. Pay off the loan minus 1700. Minus 1700. And what about the remaining amount? Remaining amount would be invested in, in enhancement expenditure on the non credit asset. You will add the remaining amount in the uh, in the non credit assets. So you will add 2183.71. And obviously, this will be deducted from the cash loss 2183.71. Okay, next is the current net book value of the non current asset of the coffee shop can be assumed to be the 3350. So you have sold the coffee shop for 3883, but this book value was 3350. So what was the profit on the sale? Profit on sale of coffee shop. Profit was 3883 minus 3, sale proceed existing netbook value. Existing netbook value is 3350. Sale proceed is so the profit will be this is the profit five double three seven one this is the profit Okay, is there any other adjustment? No. So let's calculate the final figure. Okay, there is one adjustment more, one more adjustment. That is, although I have included the profit here, but we have to deduct this because you have sold the business, right? So you have to deduct this double three five zero from the non grant asset. Double three five zero. Now let's calculate the total. So that's the answer. Yes, this is the financial position just after the sale. So there is a correction required in the requirement. Calculate the impact of the sale of the coffee shop on CC statement of financial position. It shouldn't be forecast statement of financial position. It should be statement of financial position. Calculate the impact of the sale of the coffee shop on the statement of financial position. So guys, you have to correct the requirement. Otherwise, 
calculation will be different otherwise uh, our answer will be different because this is not the forecast statement of financial position this is just after the sale of the financial position just after the sale of the coffee shop if it is if it would have been a forecasted statement of financial position we firstly calculate the eps then we will calculate the statement of financial position why i am saying that there is a error in the requirement because look look at this the figure for the current asset and current liability can be assumed to remain same when the coffee shop are sold so this is the balance sheet just after the sale of the coffee shop not after one year otherwise your current asset and current liability will definitely change right because in one year's time there will there will be a change in the earnings as well right are you getting this point so this is the forecast statement of financial position oh, sorry this is the uh, statement of financial position just after the sale of the coffee shop statement of financial position just after the sale of coffee shop so now there will be your question sir let's suppose if this is the correct requirement then how to solve the question then first of all you will calculate the forecast earnings then you will make the balance sheet and you will reflect the forecast earning in the balance sheet right we have solved in many questions we have solved this in many questions okay so let's assume this is statement of financial position not the forecast okay now let's calculate the forecast eps yes as the examiner has written in the question that current asset and current liability is uh, will not change that means this is the sale just after the coffee uh, this is the balance sheet just after the coffee shop not after one year otherwise uh, if i include the next year earning definitely balance sheet will change definitely current asset or current liability will change okay now let's write the current forecast earnings revised forecast current forecast earnings and revised forecast earnings so what is the earning guys i think it was 658 658 total Six fifty eight, six fifty eight. Okay, now let's do the adjustment. 
as we are selling the coffee business so deduct the <clears throat> 296 of the coffee business profit of coffee business 296 deduct 296 96 okay the next is as we are paying back the 9% loan we will save the interest interest save after tax interest save How much loan we are paying? Seventeen uh, hundred. The tax rate was what was the tax rate? Tax rate was twenty five percent. Seventeen hundred into nine percent into zero point seven five. And as we are doing the additional investment in the. non current assets on the fruit and juice business what was the return of that 17% 2183e19 e19 into 17% into 0.7 this business So the total profit is sum of all number of shares are five hundred million. EPS is. um additional interest saving due to low volume that was decrease in kd not the that was decrease in kd not the coupon rate interest is actually the coupon is point number 4 right kd is 8% that will decrease to 7% when the 9% loan notes are ending it's a kd of the business not the interest so we are assuming that coupon will not change that's the assumption okay now let's calculate the vac what is the current vac ten percent right Let's calculate the new bag. First of all, let's calculate the KE. Uh, beta is given. Beta asset is given. Restricted rate and RM is given. Four percent. Let's calculate the beta. Beta asset is zero point seven. Market value of equity currently it is eight uh, dollar. This will increase by five percent. Five hundred million into eight. Into one point zero five. Market value of debt. Market value of debt. 
So this company has a debt now, uh, 1575. Bank loan one five seven five. Taxes. So beta equity will be beta asset into market value of equity plus market value of debt into zero point seven five. I am regearing it. Divide a market value of equity. 0.8968. So KE will be 4% plus beta into RM minus RM. So this is the KE. 10.28. So KD will be KD is now after next. 7%. Now, KE is given, KD is given, market values are given. Let's calculate the VAC. You can directly calculate VAC in a single cell, but you can do the working here. Eight point nine one percent. So VAC has decreased from ten percent to eight point nine one percent. Guys, VAC has decreased. Any question, guys? Now, the next step is evaluate the arguments for and against the decision to sell the coffee shop. So, this is part C. So what will be the arguments in favor of selling the coffee shops? Anyone? Why there is a need to sell the coffee shops? Vag degrees, okay. That's a, that's a point. Any other point? Sale of coffee shop will decrease cost of 
will decrease interest cost which will lead to decrease in company now the food company can focus on its business rather than managing financial risk in future company has the available debt capacity to increase debt so that's the number one point any other point earning per share increases get cash yes. uh get cash okay earning per share increase proceed from sale can be used to finance a purchase business with with more growth potential previously surplus of copy business always invested in food business for expansion however now copy business has slowed down and not generating enough funds enough surplus fund for investment and copy business itself requires so it is better to sell slow business okay uh, if you sell it the sale proceed of the business has generated enough funds which will be sufficient to grow the growth of the business Please. Any other point, guys? I have written the debt capacity. Any other point? Ah, uh, one more point you can write. As coffee business is slowing down, so CC is receiving offer from competitor.
add lucrative price. In future, when there is further decline in growth of coffee business, CC may be, CC may not receive such to say So this is the best time to sell. So this is, this is the best time to sell coffee beans. So now arguments against the offer. Why you should not sell the business, anyone? What should be the points? Yes, Ishwarya, this is the this is the upper point, right? Now tell me the arguments against the offer. But there's a very uh, logical point. Competitor has the capacity to invest right now, but if you uh, if you're not willing to sell now, competitor will buy some other business. And in future, there will be lesser chance to receive such a good offer. Okay. Argument against the offer. CC, I, I'm just writing the bullet points here now. You, you will make it a paragraph. CC will lose the diversification point. Diversification benefit. Although diversification is the role of the shareholder, but still a company will lose the diversification value. Any other point? Argument against the offer, anyone? Uh, you can say that coffee business was was the was the old business having lower business risk. And fruit business fruit juice businesses. is more fashionable having highest business risk, higher business risk as fashion can be outdated, right? It makes sense, right? Fruit juice business is a uh, is a higher business risk has a higher business risk because it's a fashionable business and fashionable business can be outdated. You can write this this point as well. Other point. Coffee business has edged over competitors as it is famous for its comfortable what was the point uh, comfortable places. 
we must call it comfortable places for friends and family. If company, if CC expands the coffee business, it can attract the stable growth as it is an old business, right? Any other point? Yes, you are right. But if you can write also this as competitors are creating synergies to grow their coffee business, that means there is still demand of coffee. And you you have the you have the famous brand of the coffee in the country. So if you expand, definitely it will attract the growth. Now you can. Raise one question here. You can raise the professional acumen here. It is stated that fruit juice business will earn seventeen percent return. Which seems to be optimistic if company if cc fails to to achieve this overall eps will This is commercial uh, uh, acumen. It is although it is stated that you will achieve seventeen percent return, but on which basis? How can you say that company will achieve seventeen percent? On which basis? Maybe company will not be able to achieve seventeen percent. What will happen? It will decrease the EPS. You can write that. Okay. Globally mass consumed beverage. Sure, yeah, it is written in the in the in the text. Are you saying in a general point of view? Okay. Ah, uh, let me add one thing. You can write the general point, but here, here, if you look at the fruit juice business, read this point. Fruit juice bars offer a mix of drinks and salad with flavors from around the world. The appearance of the bars reflecting its global influences. Fruit juice is more uh, characterized as global here. Compared to the coffee business, so we cannot write uh, coffee as a global consumed beverage. Although in general, it, you are right, but in this question, the case is slightly different. Okay. Okay. What is the last one? Discuss the advantage and disadvantage of the suggestion made by the non-executive director. So, what the director is saying, by the way, director is saying that last point, guys. 
one of the non executive director has suggested an alternative arrangement under this arrangement coffee shop would be run by a separate company cc would hold a majority of shares in this company but offer a minority shares of the on the stock market so coffee shop will be run by another company what are the advantages number one advantage you will still cc will still own the company that's the main advantage so the shareholder will continuously be on the both businesses the fruit juice as well as the coffee business that's the main advantage any other advantage number one advantage is uh, sir there will be a reduction in the management cost a uh, deduction no reduction no. as no, they no. are not managing it no no let, let, let me let me explain it what is happening now previously the, the both of the businesses the fruit juice as well as the uh, coffee business is managed by one single manager now you are making another company and majority of the shares will be owned by the previous shareholder and minority of the shares will be sold to the public right your you have split the company into two parts main advantage is shareholder still own both the businesses not the 100% percent, but still they are the owner of both of the businesses second advantage is the structure of the company has been divided into two parts now it is clearly visible that which business is performing uh, you can easily identify the performance of each business because fruit juice business is separate and coffee business is now separate previously both of the businesses were run under the one brand name under the one uh, company now two different companies will manage this so we cannot say that management cost will decrease because now two management will run the uh, two companies separately yes you can write this that now both of the companies have divided into two parts now it is clearly visible that how each company is performing okay any other advantage um there is there can be a third advantage that now as you are as you have partially sold the coffee business you you are still waiting that in future if there is uh, if there is a if there is a growth in the business obviously you will you have the coffee business you will not sell it but if there is a decline in the growth of the business if there is a further decline in the growth of business you have the option to sell in the future as well you can sell this company in the future new management means new expertise will come to the company must have been known that that doesn't mean the new management that means previous management can be divided into two parts that doesn't mean the new management yes you have the option to hire the new management but it is not given here that new management will come to the So, what are the disadvantage? Number one disadvantage: you are not selling the complete business; you are partially selling the business. So, you will receive the partial funds. So, if you are receiving the partial funds, you cannot pay back the loan. You cannot fund the expansion of fruit business. So, your EPS will not increase as we have suggested uh, previously. second now there is a dilution in the control of the business although you have given minority shares to the public but if that minority shares create a lobbying against you that can be that can become trouble in future um uh, when you are going to take the decision 
So there are some advantages. There are some disadvantages. Disadvantages are more visible. Number one disadvantage: you are not selling the complete business. You are partially selling the business. You will not get the full receipts. You cannot pay back the full loan, so VAC will not decrease that much. You will not expand the fruit juice business as desired. So EPS will not increase that much. And if you are not expanding the fruit juice business, problem is still there. You haven't done the expansion of coffee business. You haven't done the expansion of fruit juice business. Problem is still there. That means business is still in trouble. And the last is, if you are selling the business to the outsider, although you have sold the minority share, but if minority share create a lobbying against you, if my minority share create a block against you, they can block your decision in AGM in future. Any other disadvantage in your point of view? Yes. Any other disadvantage? No? Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. Hello, office.